Piers Morgan, GMB host tells Shamima Begum to go FK herself and rot in hell after she said she wants to return back to the UK. The Good Morning Britain presenter has hit out at the 19-year-old Isis Bride and her US counterpart Hoda Methana, who fled their home countries for Syria but now would to return. Piers Morgan, 53, said they both deserve to stay where they are after agreeing to marry the world's worst terrorists. Writing for the Daily Mail, Piers said, they have sex with them, they breed with them, they cook for them, they clean for them, they love them and they worship them. Now, predictably, they both want to return to the safety of their original countries and live at our taxpayer expense. To which I say, and excuse my language here but sometimes it's entirely appropriate. Go FK yourselves. The journalist also called the ISIS brides traitors and urged America and Britain to stand firm together. Piers concluded his piece by stating neither of the women should be allowed to return home. He said, My message to both these brides, and any others like them, is this, you made your ISIS husband beds, now you can rot in hell in them. Shamima was one of three teenagers to leave London to join the ISIS four years ago. But after being discovered in a Syrian refugee camp last week, it was revealed she had recently given birth to a baby boy. It is now being debated whether Shamima should be allowed to take residency in the UK again, as international law permits if a Briton doesn't have claim to another nationality, they should be allowed to return. Gemma Atkinson, 34, who recently announced she is pregnant with her first child with boyfriend Gorkhan Marquez, also weighed in on the debate today. The Strictly Come Dancing star shared a tribute to 22 victims killed in the Manchester Arena bomb attack in 2017 on Instagram. Gemma said their deaths are the reason why Shamima shouldn't be allowed to come back to the UK after she fled the country for Syria four years ago. Earlier today, Shamima spoke to Sky News where she explained she left for Syria to join ISIS because of propaganda videos. She said, During the time I left, there was a lot on the news and stuff. And there were lots of videos coming out and I saw the videos on the internet and that attracted me to them like it attracted a lot of people. The way that they showed they will take care of you, you can have your own family, you can do anything. You are living under Islamic law. I think a lot of people should have sympathy for me for what I have been through. I didn't know what I was getting into when I left.